that's my favorite. It's the only reason I do the series. So it's for this bit. Mm. That's why I get really like, if it's not happening, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, <laughs> want a face massage. <laughs> Face massage? That's, what? That's very <laughs> you call it what you want, I'll call it what I want. Brow We're, all, <laughs> We're all happy. We built a thing. Did we? We built a thing. And I, have we ever talked about this thing? We talk on about two or three. nothing but. And this is it. This is Spoosh. It's image compression uh, web app thing. All runs on the web. Uh, as you can see, image has gone from two point whatever makes it. It's great. Anyway, check it out. If you whatever, have. whatever. But, but, what I wanted to talk about is share target. All right. All right. So, so share target is already a thing. It's been already shipped and it's in stable, right? Parts of it have and parts of it have. Oh, it's part. Oh. And I'm going to go through both of them. All right. Cool. So, here's what it does. Oh, look at our stupid faces. Here's our stupid faces. This is Google Photos. This is the native app Yeah. Uh, on Android. I'm going to hit Share. And I'm going to Ooh. share to. There's a squoosh. Squoosh. Da -da -da -da. And the image opens. And this, this is just a web app. So we just shared from a native app to a web app. To a web app. That's pretty cool. Which and even nice. this entire image and things. Yes, and it works. And it feels like a, a real native experience. So now I can actually, I mean, this is the workflow that we were have been missing, right? Because you want to compress your image. How do you get your image from photos into Squoosh? You have to open Squoosh, say, load an image, select the Photos app. Then you get the selector of all the images. And yep. now you go, image flunk. Yes, and so anything that can share images. It's the official sound, isn't it? Flunk. <laughs> yeah, well, it means you could do that from Twitter, from anything that yeah. will actually share an image. You could then take it straight into Squoosh. So is that only for, it's a manifest thing, I presume? It is. This is one of the few PWA-only features that we have. And what do you mean only once it's installed, it will actually work? Exactly. So yes. visiting the page, like if I visited Scrooge in my browser, it will not register as a share target. It will not register as a share target. Cool. The way you do it, like you say, is in the web app manifest. So mm -hmm. you know these things. OK. Name, start your role. That's all the usual stuff. But then, ooh. ooh share target. Share target. OK. And then an action. Now, this is action in the same way form action works. So okay. because what share target is going to do, the way it's going to share the things is it's going to make a, like a, a form submission. So like a post request. Well, you get or to specify not. the method. <laughs> and this works right, the same. In the form, you do that as well, actually. Now they say that. I haven't done form in ages now they say that. But yeah. Yeah. Well, this is it. It's, it does exactly the same it's as like what a form. method cool. does. And you can specify the encoding type. Uh, which is so we the spell out share target, but encoding time we shorten to enc type, because that's the attribute on the form element. I didn't it, even know that existed. Yeah, yeah. This, no, this is the thing. This is if you have a file input in a form, you have to set the enc type to uh, multi-part form data, because that's the only form encoding that supports files. Okay. This format doesn't. Uh, the enc type only matters if, if so you're a post method. So external form your encode means all the things in my form, whatever it is, will be appended to the action URL as query parameters? Well, or? that depends on what um, method it is. Like if ah, it's post, course, it will be sent the, as the, the body. post body. Yes. If it's get, you're right, it's going to end up at the end of the URL. And then you specify these parameters. So quick quick corner, because I'm curious. If I already have some query parameters in my action URL, will it successfully merge? Yes, it will. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. OK, cool. I imagine. <laughs> Not tested it, but, that is, okay. but that's what form does. So OK, cool. We would expect the same thing here. So and here, it's like the, the things the operating system may give you as part of a share yeah. is the title, the text, the URL. So this is the classic text share or link share kind of thing. Yep. Um, and, and I'm mapping it to the form field oh, names that I'm interested in. So and if I remember correctly, that is the part that is already shipped and stable. This is shipped and stable. This has been in since 71 okay. on Android. So I've built a web app that uses this. OK. Yeah. Show me, show yeah. me, show me your, so, your work, your glorious. Uh, what this does, this is the text share target app. And what it does, it tells you what the URL is. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a good app. And what I'm going to do is and I'm you going have to it installed to home screen because it's that good. Because it's that good. I use it all the time. I'm going to go into the YouTube native app. I'm going to go into look at these jokers. Uh, and, and I'm going to share. share. 
Okay. And I can share to that app. All right. And if I share, there you go. So the URL is blah, 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 blah. It's got all that stuff on. And if it, you know, break it apart here, the share title is now watch context and optimizations on YouTube. And you should. And the <laughs> share text, <laughs> which is the, the URL. Now, it's a bit weird that the text is the URL when there's a URL yeah, feed. Yeah, I, I hate that. Because you know how when you sometimes share from the Twitter app to like WhatsApp or something, you're yes. like, read this tweet from like, no. That, and that is going to pick up that horrible text. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you're really going to receive whatever the native app has given you. Yeah. And so, so you, you kind of have to deal with that, which is sad. That being um, said, this is pretty cool. Like, I can share, be a share target for link sharing and yep. stuff. So and it, and if I go into photos now, like I did before, um, I can uh, do the same thing, share to um, the text share target. It's going to ask me if I want to create a link or a because shared album. Because it's only a text share target. Because it is just a text share target. And it is the, the share text that comes out is a link to. There's no time saying, check out this image from Jake Archibald. It, it, well, yeah, so this is better <laughs> than what we had before. <laughs> but, but in version two of share target, you can share files. files. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> did you see that coming? Brilliant. You uh, always showed me, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did sort of destroy the surprise in the first couple of seconds of the video, yeah. didn't I? No, fair enough. Good storyteller right there. <laughs> so slightly different. Back again in the manifest. OK. Action, same. Mm -hmm. Method post this time, because mm -hmm. if, if you're going to receive files, it has to be a yeah. post. The encoding type is multi-part form data. Has to be that yeah. if you want files. Uh, and you can still put the usual parameters in, but there's this new one, which is files. And you have a, an array. So the mere existence it has to be post and file to basically make you a file target, or is yeah. files? OK. If you have get in there, it will throw a warning into the console and say, Rrr. that doesn't make sense. Okay. No, it just says that. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work out the rest yourself. <laughs> the play button. <laughs> uh, so here I'm saying files. And this is the mapping again. I'm saying the name of the form field is yeah. file. I can call that whatever I oh, want. Oh, and you can filter by mime type. That's good. And you can filter by mime type. If you just um, want to have images, you can say image slash star, I presume. Yep. Which is actually, we had this problem in Squoosh, where because we've made it so you can load WebP in browsers that don't support yeah. WebP. But if you try and filter by mime type, the browser goes, I don't understand what WebP is. This is not an image. Yeah. <laughs> so we had to sort of do this same hack, even though we're wanting to receive images. We had okay. to say, well, we'll accept anything, because we will take file formats the operating system browser doesn't Makes understand. Makes sense, yeah. OK. Um, so yeah, th that's, that's that. And so that you will... say this gives me a post request, right? So yes. that is not as easy to handle as a get request which, with parameters. Yes. I mean, by default, this will just go to your server, and your server handles it. True. Um, which might be OK in some cases. Yeah. But for a Squoosh, we want it to work offline. So right. we want we don't want this to actually go to the server. We don't want it to depend on there the server. There is no server. We are serverless. We're serverless. Another <laughs> buzzword that we uh, that we <laughs> encompass. So in order to solve this, service Into worker. Into the service worker we go. Yes. All right. So now this is I think it's, this would be the first time. No, the second. No, the first time I'm handling a post request in my service worker. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Although I think no, maybe in WordPress when you post a comment, I did it. Maybe. I've done it before to trap. Um, post requests that didn't work and save them for later, that sort oh, of thing. Oh, with background sync, yeah. With background sync. But in this case, what I'm going to do, look at the URL. And if it's the same origin request, and if it's to the share target, this is all what we set up in the, yeah. this is all what we set up in the manifest. And if it's a post thing, we're going to do something else. We're going to do yeah. something magic. Uh, it's not magic. The it's rest actually, stays the same, but yeah. Yes, so you still have the rest of your service worker logic there. We're just catching this one case. Uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to respond with a redirect. OK. And this is basically what you would do on the server side. Yeah, I think you basically never respond to a post request with content. You, you would either say no content or a redirect. You, you would sometimes respond with a content if it was an error in the post. Because you would serve back error. the form yeah. with all the data, but one field yeah. saying this one's wrong. Um, but if stuff is correct, you tend to serve a redirect. And that's because, I don't know, you might have seen this, where you hit refresh on a page and it says, Do you want to resubmit? Exactly. Yeah. And th that's because this page was a post response, yeah. well, a response to a post request. So you serve a redirect. That makes it a get request. And yeah. the user can hit refresh, and it's not a problem. So we're just doing that. So with the redirect, the body will still get forward? No, that will make the browser do a get request after, right? Yes. So you will have to read the body on yes. the post request and then pass it along to the get request somehow? To the page. Well, no, we can pass it along to just to the page. 
Um, oh, anyway, the, yeah, okay. Mm. There are redirect codes that say you should, if, if this was a post request, you should do a post request again with okay. the same data. Um, but this, the default redirect stuff doesn't do that. Yeah, okay. So basically, what you're doing is you're, you're ripping out the, the body from the post requests. Meanwhile, you're redirecting the client, which will send a get request, hit your normal service worker path, yep. hit the cache, load the page, great. Yeah, that's an important detail, actually. A redirect, it will send it back through the service worker. Yeah. Um, but so now the, the page is up. The, well, the, well, the page is not up yet, because this is at the same time we are going to, as you say, we're going to yep. get that form data, which is what the share target's given us. It's going to give us that file. Um, we're going to do this. And this is Ooh, relatively. Clients. Yeah. So I know clients exist. It's yep. like all the clients, the, the tabs, if you want to and say. And workers. Some, and workers. Yep. Uh, simply said that belong to the service worker, right? Or that yes. are handled by the service worker. Yes, or the ones that are controlled. You can actually get all of the ones for the origin as well. Yeah. Um, so, so I've yes. never used it. I know it exists, but this will be the first time I have seen a use case for it. And this is quite a new bit here, this result in client ID. And what uh, oh. what it's saying is like there's not a page yet, but here's a, a, an ID for it for when it ev whenever it appears. OK. Um, and so when I clients.get it, it's going to wait until that page appears. So that um, will be the page that you have spawned by the redirect. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, if I didn't redirect, it would be the page that yeah, you sure. create. Yes, yeah. so it's, it's the page that results as part of this fetch. Um, so yes, I get the client. And that, will, that won't work if the redirect goes to another origin, or it won't work if the page fails to load for that okay. reason. But we're getting the client here, because it's going to work. It's our client, so we can have it. Yep. Get the file out of the uh, form data form object data, okay. using the name that we gave it. So this will, this will incorporate all the multi-part MIME decoding under the hood, yep. and give, giving you an array buffer, a blob, something, a file. Uh, you get a file, a file right. object. Cool. Yep. And now I'm going to post message that to oh, the page. Oh, post message. There good it is old, again. Good old post message. And that means over in my page, I can listen for that message. Why do you transfer the file? Is it transferable? I probably should transfer it. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> so it wins again. Well, here's an interesting thing. I don't know how much it saves if you transfer a file, because it's read-only data, right? It's, it's reference a good question. I no idea. Anyway. It's not like it's we saw it doesn't really make things slow. And it was a pretty big image. Yeah. So. We could we could transfer it. And and through doing that, um, I have another demo. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? So it's similar oh, to the one before. Same same symbol. But it's the file share target. And this is what it says. You, you can share, share files to this app. Right. And it's not wrong. <laughs> you absolutely can. And that is already an achievement for you. <laughs> <Yeah. app that laughs> and I will, I will share links to these uh, little demos, because they are like good minimal cases. Um, and so it is going to appear here. There it, there is. it is, file share target. And well, look at you even show it. It's like squoosh. Ex exactly. <laughs> just much simpler. Uh, and it's just, yeah, it gives you the details of the file. You, know, you get the name, the size, the MIME type. Two megs. That's all in there. And it's sort of. Two megs or whatever, um, but this is just a very right. like th that's exactly what we're doing with Squoosh, but obviously we're doing the rest of Squoosh around it. So the result is you can press Squoosh as if it's a native app, and there you go, and you there can start is. editing the image. Hey, and that shows. So, so this is in Canary, right, Ralph? This right, is right, in right, Ralph. Right, 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 right now. Oh, we're in Canary, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> this is in Canary right now. Yes. All right. Um, it's. The, they're starting the launch process for it, yeah. fixing a few bugs. So this should land in um, a few months. This would be a great origin trial, actually. Uh, I think they're just going to ship. I think they've got agreement to, Screw to do it. that. Exactly. And I, I think it's great. I think it's one of the, the this it's is a, a huge step towards really feeling is. native. Because if you can actually, in, you know, I've always thought about my Android workflow as a phone workflow. It's like you start an app, you do a thing, and you share it to the next app. And you kind of have this chain, like a little bit like a Unix pipes back in the day. And then at the end, you send it by email or whatever, especially with images. You take an image, then you share it to your yeah, photo editor, and you share it to email. Cool. And now you can have your web apps in that chain. Yep. And that's really big. And it's not just images. It's any, sure. kind, of, any kind of files yeah. that you want to accept. So there we go. That share target will link to um, the, these demos, and we'll link to the articles and stuff and the specs in the in the, in the, in the yeah, thing down it's there. Good. It's good to try. We, we good to go? Absolutely. Amazing. That was fake confidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I've got to remember what I'm doing now. Share target, mate. All right. Let's do, let's do share target. <laughs>